welcome back to my channel yes welcome me back welcome me back my friends back from holidays which means it's time to get back to working on some models straight into it and um it's going to be more of a like a lookbook rather than um full-on try on so that you can get some ideas for but what the hell what kind of ideas are going on here chuck that's not the kind of modeling that we're talking about we're talking about car modeling what's on the bench gee williker the things they post on youtube nowadays wow uh pretty racy you have to subscribe to only fans or whatever other channels out there that you got going on anyways getting sidetracked already um holidays my vacation wow fantastic had a great time away take my mind off things for a week and it was beautiful the area i went was incredible okanagan valley wine region fruit growing region maybe i'll post some videos there we stayed uh, half the time in a hotel my partner in crime gets cheap rates it's like 60 bucks a night something like that or 50 american so we got to stay in some nice spots and the other half we did some uh, camping boondocking everything else under the sun some amazing boondocking spots we stayed at anyhow just before i left i f did a short little bit on the shop truck group build that we got going on and we'll do that one and then show you what i've added onto that so let's roll what we got i showed you a very ugly scene in the last build video where i kept hacking away and what i wanted to do was let's get a pointer here the point of this story is right there i tried to cut the keep the frame and just get rid of this tub and i was going to keep the gas tank and just cut around this section but it didn't work out that way 2 30 in the morning half asleep i just kept hacking away and i ended up saying screw it cut the frame rail out and i'm going to build my own frame rails and i say i'm going to do that because here's the rear trailing link system so you see how this goes on there the truck arm nascar kind of trailing link that goes on like that and then what you do is the rear end gets mounted here there you go so check out my rear no pun intended and that's how that goes so that will be that unit now what i'm thinking i'm gonna just do is build my own back frame section so i'll just put a couple bars running from here up to the flat of the floorboard and then run it to the back and put a gas tank in i'm not sure if i'm going to use this gas tank or hack this one off of this truck i might just hack that one or you know what a guy could do keep this back section there we go i just came up with an idea thanks for helping me guys i'm going to cut the exhaust out and keep these frame rails and tie it together here and then have that floating axle assembly well it won't be floating but you know what i mean and then i will have the springs are somewhere i got springs for the back and we also have shocks from this nascar kit so that's what we we will do whoops i got it backwards look at that how good am i eh? i'm i'm back ass words or is that ass backwards so anyhow that's the situation you know the fella had a lot of time and patience and whatever and wanted to go fancy he'd just make his own trading arm pin it and have it so that it's actually movable who knows if uh i've got nothing to do this blah 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 winter or fall maybe i might do something like that actually it would be easy to do because i could just chop there there and pin that so you know thanks very much for sitting with me today and letting me come up with some ideas here so that is the plan stan a few inches later day two so here is the progress after a little bit of time now what i want to do i want to use the original ram chargers tub 
Now being a shop truck, obviously we're hauling a lot of stuff, boxes and engine parts and everything else under the sun. So we're not going to put back seats in this, but I want to keep that tub, like I say, the original tub. So I glued the front bottom uh, suspension system on and look at this this fits in just dang perfect Wow I like it um, after some trimming get the body on flat I have to trim that off and the same thing here all the seat I think that's the seat roll cage there and this looks like a hose or line or something but it's yeah chopped off between the saw and yeah just the saw and then I end up with this flat surface like that see I took all of that crap off and they're flat and flush look at see amazing how this fits very flush now even though I glued the front suspension on and I mocked up my rear axle I'm coming up with four millimeters too long, so I'm gonna have to shorten this by four millimeter. That's small amount, but that's okay. So that's what I think I'm gonna do is go back to that original idea of maybe shortening these rails and having pinning it and maybe doing real springs. I don't know yet. But I do have to shorten this. So what I already did was, if you can see this, I took a saw and just cut one side for a sample. I took my saw and see, I cut right through, all the way through. I hope this is coming in anyways. So that's what I did. And then the other side, now if I can get my saw out, I'm going to cut that in there, trim that down, and then that will keep the original suspension mounting points or beam mounting points whatever word you want to use and then I'll cut that four inches and put pin it pin it pin it to win it I guess I could just glue those in and shorten it but you know what I might make this a working suspension I don't know yet we'll see so that will go like that it'll be shortened and I want to keep this original structure because everything is once glued in place, that'll be really strong. Am I videoing this? Watch the camera, Chuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a pretty strong system that they have there, gluing all the mounting points. And I could, you know, shorten it different ways. I thought, you know, move it down in that. But I want that strong structure so it won't break off on me knowing uh, cheap glues nowadays. And the other thing is I chopped that as flush as I could. And then I took the original Ram Chargers frame and we're just going to do it there. We're going to glue that to that backing. I have to cut it. I put little marks. Where's my? Right there. And right there is a mark. So we're going to glue that frame there after cutting it. And it'll go to its original mounting location like this. Da 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 da. See? Perfecto. And then it'll get glued to, sorry, move it. it'll get, the frame will get glued there. And then we'll put the other springs in from this suspension and blah, 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 blah type of thing. So, and the other reason why I have to keep this mounting point is the bumper bolts to there. Uh, it should be the original uh, bumper location. So that's a good thing because other than that, I'd have to mock up my own bumper brackets which would be a pain in the nuts. So anyhow, that is what we got going on there. Kids, my friends, pretty awesome, right? I think this is gonna look good. And it's lower down. I mean, like it's gonna be low, low. It's like freaky cool low. But hey, we're gonna save that till next time. Show you the stance. How's that? Do I look awesome? <laughs> oh my God, um, no edit here. Anyways, my friends, this kit has turned out to be quite a bit of fun. The shop truck group build challenge there. Uh, I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting anything out of this kit, but watching your guys' videos and thinking things through, this has been a really fun build. Slightly challenging. And speaking of challenging, 
challenging, I'll get that word out, substandard, remember, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know, I <laughs> lost my train of thought. Speaking of challenging, I challenge you guys, you know what, think outside of the box, think outside of the box, don't just come up with something generic like copy the box kit, you guys have a lot of imagination, use your imagination, come up with something unique, when you do that, you have a lot of fun when you start building some of these kits. Just thinking, what if I did this? What if I did that? And you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a total fun of this. Usually this isn't my cup of tea. I only entered this challenge to have fun with everybody else and join in with everybody else, feel a part of the modeling community. And that has come, yeah, amazing, awesome, as I said. While I put away everything from our camping trip, barbecue, power box, paddle board, all the fun toys. I did a giveaway a little while ago, guess the color, and I gotta find the other kit because I'm gonna do a buddy build or offer a buddy build to David Chen, the winner of that. And hey, if you guys wanna join in on that, that is fine. And I'll be revealing that coming up next, uh, after next video, because my next video, you know what? I bought another stash collection and I did that before I went on the holidays. So you'll see that this weekend. I was trying to think of the day. Don't worry about the day, Chuck. Just put it up. So without further ado, my friends, you know what? Time to get upstairs, get some building done. You know what? Cheers, my friends. We'll see you next time. Stay awesome and no cheers. I don't have a coffee. I got to go upstairs and make coffee. So see you up there next video.